the is rms value of the ac is changed okay waveform wise you just check this this is an input this is an alternating power and uh, this alternating voltage is give, given to this load given to load assume that uh, l is very small or as you assume that it is zero and you consider resistive loads just like some incandescent bulb incandescent bulb so what happens here this switch turns on when in positive half cycle so the current flow through this through this through this through this so if you consider load voltage if you measure the voltage between these two terminals that is exactly equal to input voltage vs if i am assuming that the power drop across the switch is zero if i assume ideally it is zero the current because then it is acting like a wire there is no voltage drop here so load voltage is same as input voltage that's a reason this is when when the thyristor is in on state so when how to turn on the thyristor to turn on the thyristor we should apply gate voltage gate voltage so assume that somewhere here at 60 degree we are applied a gate voltage what is the meaning of 60 degree assume that this is uh, 50 hertz supply 50 hertz means 1 by 50 means 20 millisecond from here to here so here to here 10 milliseconds 90 degree mean uh, 180 degree means 10 milliseconds here to here 5 milliseconds so 5 by 9 into 6 that is a 60 degree time equivalent so it is around uh, what is an equivalent value of uh, 60 degree in time so you just calculate okay that is uh, 5 by 9 into 6 okay millisecond so Five by nine is point five five point five five into six, three point three three milliseconds. So 
after zero crossover this is a zero crossover after 3.3 milliseconds if you apply a gate voltage to gate of this with in between gate and cathode assume that this scr will turn on and this scr will turn remain in on state till end of this positive half cycle okay in the this negative half when a negative half cycle begins so this anode is connected to negative and cathode is connected to positive means uh, anode of this is more negative compared to cathode so this will turn on we'll talk later about this for right now you assume that this scr will turn off at 180 degree when negative half cycle begins then in the negative half cycle here see this is a negative half cycle if you apply a gate voltage after this zero crossover again if after 3.3 milliseconds means it's 60 degree 60 degree 3.3 here to here 3.3 milliseconds if you apply a gate pulse here so this will turn on if this turns on and this is in off state so what happens again input is connected to load through this switch this switch is acting like a closed circuit means ideally we say there is no drop across this so load is connected to source what is the load voltage the same as source voltage so load voltage is this load voltage is this load voltage is same as source voltage because in, in the negative of cycle from here to here this variation is like this the similar variation we are observing in the load side from here to here variation is like this the similar variation we are observing in load side so we have delivered the power to load only from here to here and here to here so if you consider this is a voltage waveforms if this is a voltage waveforms and if you compare the vo voltage waveforms of input side and uh, output side definitely this part is removed this part is removed again this part is removed if you take the rms values of this waveforms not average here we are considering rms because to measure this ac if you take rms of this rms of uh, this voltage root mean square value of this voltage definitely it is less than the rms values of this voltage so we are able to deliver is less voltage to the load from given supply voltage vs so v out should be always uh, maybe less than Vs. We, we can make V no V out less than Vs. So if you can if you if you turn on this T1 somewhere here, this is entire positive of cycle is delivered to load. If you turn on T2 somewhere here, entire negative of cycle is delivered. So load voltage is same as input voltage. In this way the rms values of the load voltage we can change we can deliver different uh, uh, volt means we can control the rms voltage of the load using this circuit that's the reason it is called as ac voltage converter this is i say why ac to AC, this is also another ac but uh, output side also ac only but its rms is less than the or less or equal sometimes may be equal because you if you don't know if you want to entirely entire supply if you want to apply you can make it zero also so in this way one ac we can control to another ac this waveform is current waveform so this always current is a view voltage by r so if you are uh, modeling this uh, waveforms using vm sin omega t because this is a vm is peak value the sin omega t says that how it is varying so here to here i can model using vm sin omega t so this is a, this is also vm sin omega t this is also vm sin omega t from here to here 
this is vm sin omega t root by r this is vm sin omega t root by r this is the time when i am applying a gate pulse to t1 uh, gate of the t1 this is the time when i am applying the gate gate pulse to t1 of t2 so in this circuit we can control the load voltage rms this is also one separate chapter lot of things we can uh, learn in this assume that in this circuit l is zero this is inductance of the load is zero and r is dominant then only this we forms holds good there is an another form of a converter is called as dc to ac converter this is a very popular circuit inverter we in common word we can say that inverter this is a building block of your ups system ups system so assume that battery is having a power and using the battery supply we need to run our home appliances what is the power uh, uh, it is dc the battery uh, voltage is dc hmm? so so this dc we need to convert into ac so using the switches listening at here four switches are there this this is one switch uh, strictly speaking uh, uh, its complete uh, operation is uh, will uh, again discuss in the last chapter in what chapter first you assume that there are four switches here four switches here mainly so so load side voltage assume that this is also rl load rl load or else uh, assume that l is very small uh, l is uh, some adequate here okay but what happens means here this is an output voltage so here this switch q1 and q4 will turn on simultaneously so what happens this voltage is given to low given to load so if you measure the load voltage from here v plus and minus if you keep a multimeter plus uh, cr pro plus here minus here so what happens or multimeter plus and minus here pro red and black while here so what happens so this is connected to plus this is connected to minus so so you will see this voltage here during uh, when this is in on state whenever uh, assume that we will turn on q1 and q4 so what happens the current flows in this way current flows in this way current flows in this way the load voltage if you measure here with respect to this you will get plus vd plus vd assume that in the next uh, for the next duration we are we will turn on these two what happens here the current flows in this way this way this way so if you measure with respect to previous uh, uh, in the same as in the same as how you measured earlier what happens here you will get a voltage but polarity wise opposite to the previous polarity that's a reason because uh, current direction is in this way current direction is in this way so you will get a negative voltage here negative voltage here so this is uh, so here you can see the input is dc constant but the output is alternating alternating between two values that's the reason i say it is a uh, alternating current yeah so listen here this is a current we forms you will get in when our it that current is passing through will load if you assume that load is rl in nature rl in nature means if you consider this load is a, a dc motor or any motor is having some inductance okay again that you uh, will teach later there are different kinds of loads uh, uh, available assume but uh, right now you assume that the dc is converted to ac in this way this is dc to dc converter so likewise there are other power converter also one frequency we can uh, uh, one frequency ac we can convert into other frequency ac that is called as cyclo converter uh, so these are the main uh, 
power converters we are using one is a controlled rectifier controlled rectifier job is it is ac to controlled dc converter ac to ac converter means or else if i call it as ac voltage controller so one ac for an example if I, if you want to convert ac of 230 volt rms you can convert into uh, 115 volt RMS or any other RMS value voltage that is AC voltage controller then DC to AC converter that is use uh, invert that is we call as invert that converts DC power to AC power then there is an another converter DC to DC converter that convert one fixed DC to another fixed DC for an example using a 5 volts battery supply which is available in a 5 volts battery you want to give a power supply to a integrated circuit that requires 1.8 volts that 5 volts should be converted to 1.8 volt that is 5 volt is also dc 1.8 is also dc here one dc value should be converted to another dc value so this is dc to dc converter so DC to DC converter is mainly used in one application is uh, your semiconductor to give the power to the any semiconductor devices or else to give the power to uh, DC motor kind of uh, devices right now DC motor is rarely used okay so this is just an introduction to these uh, converters we will uh, study in detail all this converter remember in all these converters why i am introduced means wherever you go there are switches there are switches there are switches there are switches so the very uh, what are the power switches available is one is thyristor we call as a silicon control rectifier one is power mosfet power vjt igbt and several other power switches are also available triag diag and uh, several other uh, gto gate turn off thyristor several other devices also available first of all we will learn in the next class one simple power convert power switch is called a silicon control rectifier it is old power switch a uh, very old power switch but still it is used in high power applications and a very important thyristor or silicon controlled rectifier 